suppose when I was growing up, the first age group was under eights and it was under eight boys team. There was maybe three or four girls that was playing on it at the time. To be honest, I think it was the best thing for us playing boys football. It sort of made you a bit more resilient and it sort of benefited you then when you went to play girls football. Well, there was a young fellow there, he grabbed the ball and his mate came over and says, Amy takes the penalties, you want an all boys team. And she put the ball down, stuck it in the top corner. And the boy turned around his mates and said, Natalia Amy takes all the penalties. <laughs> we were lucky that our club were able to put a system in place to start girls football. And then from there, we really kicked on. That team that Amy played in, that team went unbeaten from under 12s till minor. We were a pretty close family, we were all close in age. So that from the youngest to the oldest, there was only a 10 year gap with six kids in between that. So just every day, we were probably down in the football pitch with our dad. It was a pretty big match. We were playing Cork, prepared well for the game. And then, unfortunately, I didn't make it to half time. I just remember going in to tackle and I just changed direction and I just heard a pop in my knee. And so at the time, I didn't think it was as bad as what it was until the results of the scan. Decided that it was the cruciate ligament um, that was gone, but I remember the phone call from the physio. I just remember him just saying sorry, and that was the first thing I heard, and then I just I just knew myself. That's what it was. That first day, it was just all negative thoughts, to be honest, and I think that's okay to have negative thoughts. I think that's part and partial of it. I changed my mindset for a start, just to get back on the road to recovery, and I just started thinking then about the recovery process and just taking it step by step. So straight after the surgery, it was just about walking and getting the movement back in the knee. And then as soon as the gym work could start, it was all about building up the strength again um, in my right leg. So it just was like squats, single leg, lunges, everything working to get the right knee as strong as the left. Um, learning how to run correctly, sort of taking it from there into the team environment and sort of contact with the ball and kicking and shooting. I think the first game back, getting that sort of championship feeling back was great and you sort of miss it. Just wanted to get back and enjoy playing football. We had just finished up the season and every player gets to vote who they think their player of the year is. So I was phoned that week, they had told me that I'd, that I'd won the award. I think my phone just was hopping the whole night. Winning that award um, probably opened a lot of young girls' eyes around here to say, if I can do it, anyone can do it. And that was the most important thing, I think. There was people coming to my door and they were crying, you know, so I didn't realise how much it would mean to the community. When you go down south and you're going to all these other matches, you meet people that say, oh yeah, do you know a girl called Jamie Mackin? And then we have to turn around and say, yeah, she's our daughter, actually. And I think that's lovely, where people recognise her for our talent, you know. For me, I sort of realised that what we're involved in here is something special and you can make special memories without winning one medal, you know, so it's all about the memories and the friendships and the enjoyment, so that's the main thing. <laughs>